Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is the Lady, and today I am going to show you guys how to catch smallmouth buffalo in Texas. So, if we uh, look at the fish species over here, you just uh, click on that one and then scroll down and go to smallmouth buffalo. Here we get some info, and the two things that we need to keep in mind is first, what is stated here the smallmouth buffalo is a bottom feeder, so it means we need to fish at the bottom. And then secondly, it's done consisting primarily of vegetation and other organic matter from the bottom. So we do get a couple of uh, preferred baits, no preferred lures, but only a preferred baits, which, um, which are semolina balls, corn, mayflies and bloodworms. Uh, the deal with this is though that semolina balls only become available at level 11, corn is even higher up, same with bloodworms and mayflies become available at level 9, however they do cost baked coins. And I strongly advise you guys not to use baked coins uh, for uh, purchasing mayflies go after this fish. Uh, there are a couple of other baits that I like as well, uh, marshmallows, uh, cheese at times. However, the deal with cheese is that you also get a lot of catfish and bluegills. And then um, peas were very good, but again, that is high level uh, bait. Uh, pet fruit from time to time works as well. However, with that one, you also get a lot of channel catfish. Um, red worms and bread work, uh, but with that, you also get a lot of panfish. And the only other bait that I've found so far that works fairly consistently is dough balls on a low level that becomes available at level 5. Um, on a very rare occasion you can catch them with casting spoons or um, spinners, however that is just on a very rare occasion you'll catch more bass and stuff like that. So we are going to fish with dough balls. First I would like to show you guys my setup, so here we go. Uh, what I'm using is a Telefloat 650. This is not the starting setup. This is a rod that becomes available at level 4. And the reason that I'm using this one is uh, 1. It is a stronger rod. 2. It can, uh, you can uh, cast out further with it. And that is exactly what we need. Then secondly, I put in Spycast 2000 on it. It is available at level 4. It gives you a little bit more horsepower. And then we're using Mono 0.18mm line. I'm using a hook number four. Uh, they are uh, carp species, uh, but these are smallmouth buffalo, and they're named that for a reason. Hook number six is fine, hook number four, hook number two, and hook number one. However, with hook number one, you already get a lot of nibbles and no bites because the hook might be a bit too big if the uh, smallmouth buffalo is a bit on the short side. So, to catch all smallmouth buffaloes, uh, go with hook number four, hook number six, that is fine. Okay, so having that set, I'll show you guys the spot. So first off, so if you turn around, um, there's the house, and then you walk towards the water, and then you've got, hang on, let me minimize that, then you've got uh, the lily pads over here to your left. If you just look on the map, that is exactly where I'm standing. There on that spot, home sweet home. So this is the first spot that you can go to. This is the second, and then the third is over here, and then you cast over those lily pads. But I'll show you the spot here first. So a leader set 240 centimeters, or uh, that is 55 inches for those of you that use the metric uh, or the imperial system. You cast out as far as you can. Uh, 23 meters that is fine and uh, between 23 meters and roughly 18 meters is where you can uh, can catch them on this particular spot with your leaders at 240 centimeters that is actually on the bottom already if you put it on 145 centimeters you'll already see that your uh, bobber will be more diagonal instead of vertical um, now the carp they uh, tend to play a bit with the bait before they do an actual bite. So it's a, it's a bit more of a patience game. You need to wait a bit. And just as we are doing. So today I am fishing on a, a sunny day. Full sunny day. You can start fishing uh, smallmouth buffalo already from, uh, from uh, 5 a.m. in the morning then all day long. If you are, however, on an overcast day or on a cloudy day, on an overcast day uh, they start to uh, 
uh, get awake, so to say, at 11 uh, a.m. in the morning. And if you want to fish um, the carp species on uh, a full cloudy day, then it's better to fish them uh, starting in the afternoon. Uh, I do get the feeling that the carp needs a bit of warmer water to uh, to start getting active. And so when it's 5 a.m. on a full cloudy day, it, it gets a bit harder. Not saying that you cannot catch them at 5 a.m. on a full uh, cloudy day. However, I found out that they become a bit more active uh, a bit later during the morning and then in the afternoon as well. So like I said, the, uh, this is a fish that you need a bit of patience for. Now if you want to uh, see if there is some activity going on but you do not want to reel in, what you do is you just lift your rod up like so until your bubble becomes a bit diagonal. If you do not see any blue bars appearing safe to reel in a bit, uh, let's do it just like that. And like I said before, uh, with doe balls, it's not 100% guaranteed that you can uh, that you will catch a small live buffalo every single time. Having that said, though, it does work uh, better than, for instance, bread or uh, red worms or uh, cheese or pet food. So if you're uh, below level 11. Stick with dough balls. If you're level 11, uh, switch to semolina balls. They're, they are much better. And then the moment you can use either um, marshmallows or shrimps or corn or peas, go with that. Uh, however, do not pr um, use uh, bait coins to purchase uh, the bait for this uh, fish. You're not getting rewarded in bait coins back. So it's just a, a waste of uh, money, in, uh, in my opinion. Alrighty. So. Uh, to notice if they're active at times, you'll see a fish jump here right in the middle of the lake. Um, but so far we are not very lucky, so let's reel in a bit to 19. There actually we had some splashes, there it goes. So that is a visual indication that the uh, small life is actually uh, active. If you do not see them for a long period of time, uh, it's more likely that they're not active at that particular time. Okay. Now if this is taking too long, I will uh, move on to the second spot, but let's see here first. I do know some movement of the bobber. So we might have one after all. Uh, it's just nibbling a bit. Uh, carp are no uh, predator species. They will not chase stuff. They will not go after uh, dead fish or anything. So if you have small cut bait or small minnows, stuff like that, they do not like it. Shrimps, on the other hand, is a different story. They will go after shrimps. They uh, they do love them. But yeah, so small cut bait, medium cut bait, large cut bait, uh, cranks, um, uh, lures, 9 times out of 10, they do not work. Uh, I have caught a couple of uh, small mouths on uh, uh, silver and uh, golden uh, casting spoons, but that was very rare. You cannot fish them uh, consistently with that. And this one, yeah, we got no activity here at the moment. No worries though. So, but right here on this spot, that is uh, definitely uh, good to uh, to go after them. Let's uh, move on to the second spot. I know that I actually do catch something uh, there, so I can uh, show it to you guys. So for this one you do need to walk. And on this part of the lake the water is actually a bit deeper. Um, because they are bottom feeders we have to adjust the leader. Uh, I'll set it to 220. 220 centimeters. That is roughly 93 inches. So there we go. And you just cast that straight in front of you. Wait a bit for the bobber to settle. There we are. So this is uh, the deepest part of the lake. And we already got some activity going there. 
So if you, oh. yeah, and this is no, uh, not entirely sure if this is a uh, buffalo or not. Maybe a small one. Now I'm out of time to start. For ah, there we go. I was already saying with this uh, particular setup, uh, when they start taking line. I know 100% sure that it's the buffalo because they are the biggest fish uh, around here. Make sure that you at all times have tension on your line. Uh, if you do not, then they are very quick to escape. But there you go, there we have our smallmouth buffalo. So we'll keep that one and let's move on to the next spot which is actually across. I'll just walk. You can also go to the map and then uh, select uh, the dam spot, I believe it's called the location. But here we are. So this is the biggest fish of the lake. Currently they go up to 1.6 uh, 1650 kilograms. Um, I do recall them also being 1.8 kilograms. So if we are here what you need to do is walk alongside this line of reeds to your right and then go stand here. And this is exactly why you need a telefloat 650 is because you need to make this distance. You need to throw over the lily pads. I'll show you guys on the map. Behind this patch of lilies is where you need to throw. Uh, this part of the lake is not too 20 deep. Uh, I can just show you. Uh, that's it. There we go. So our bobber indicates that we are too much on the bottom. So instead, the depth here is 175 centimeters. And for those of you guys that use the imperial system, that would be uh, 60 inches, roughly. And you can measure it for yourself the moment that your bobber stands up straight like this. You know that you are on, uh, you are perfect the moment that it starts to go diagonal. It means that it starts to drag the bait on the bottom. And when it's horizontal, of course, you're way too deep. Here it is, uh, again, 23 meters to roughly 20 meters, because then you get too close to the lily pads, and here you start catching all type of panfish. Uh, bluegills, shiners, crappy, all that kind of stuff. But 23, or if you can cast that further with a different setup, uh, versus 25, 26 meters, that is all fine. Just as long as you stick a bit to this side of the lake the moment you get very close to the bridge it's uh, at least in my experience it's a bit harder to uh, to catch them uh, you'll more likely uh, end up with uh, bears and uh, pike and crappies and bluegills and all that kind of stuff instead of the uh, the buffalo We'll wait just a little bit. Now, of course, we have the fish migrating, so it does mean that at times you need to move. For instance, our first spot did not pan out, so I moved to that spot. We hooked one, and with this one, I just had small movement going on. There it goes again. Yeah, and that is most definitely a smallmouth buffalo. When it spills you that way with a Teraflat 650, you know you've got a buffalo on. There's no other fish here. That will do so. Nope, almost lost line tension there. And there we go. We have our buffalo. Let's see, 1.3 kilograms. That is nice. Let's keep that. Okay, so last but not least, I'll show you guys my uh, fish keep. So I fished first with uh, rat worms. I did catch a smallmouth, but also got a radius sunfish and spotted bear. So I did not have any bread with me, otherwise I would have done that. Um, but you would get somewhat the same result that you get like four or five uh, fish with bread, and only one of them would be a smallmouth buffalo. 
Now with the balls though you see that I only got a bluegill once and the rest of the time it was small map. Um, experience, these are great fish to go after in comparison to spotted bass. Spotted bass of, let's see, I've got 1.4 over here. Uh, this one gives you um, 72 bucks. That is also roughly the money that a spotted bass of say uh, 700 grams uh, rewards you. So uh, this one is twice the weight but you get the exact same money as you would get for spotted bass. So that is why spotted bass is definitely the fish to go after money wise. However experience wise 700 gram uh, spotted bass would only give you 17, 18, max 20 experience points. And here the smallmouth buffalo gives you 41. Here this is actually the smallest one that I've got and that still gives you 31 XP. And like I said, the general average weight is 1.3, uh, 1.4 kilogram. 5.5 is already quite big and they go up to currently 1.6 and a half kilograms. But um, uh, like I said earlier, I also called them 1.8 kilograms. But yeah, so here you can see for instance Actually, spot of bass, 640 pays you 109 bucks. Uh, so times to 1.2. Here I have a 1.2. That pays you only 63. Um, but like you can see, XP is definitely uh, good. So if you want to level up in Texas, go after this uh, this baby smallmouth buffalo. Hook number four, uh, dough balls, and a teleflip 650 with an inspire cost 2000. That is all you need. Uh, one more thing with the Telefloat 450 and the mini spin 800 reel, so that is your starting float uh, setup. You can fish after these. Do not, however, set your drag onto 5 out of 6 because the line tension will be too strong and you'll break your line. You have to have your line tension set out of, on um, or your drag set on 4 out of 6. Um, not any uh, any higher. 4 out of 6. The fight will be a bit longer, but you can still reel them in. So guys, that was it for uh, this uh, particular fish species. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Leave comments down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see me fish live, go to twitch.tv slash ladyofgames. Mind that the O in off is a zero. Um, always on Monday I stream Fishing Planet starting at 8pm GMT plus 1. Uh, for you guys in America that is roughly starting at 2pm, 3pm your time. Alright, so with having that said, I'm gonna wish you all tight lines, happy days and I'll see you later. Bye bye!